Hey, what's up? Pizza Over Nerd here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Manjaro Lomary. Now, I've actually been cheating on Ubuntu Touch, and I've been running Manjaro Lomary for around two weeks. And I have a lot of things to say about it. So, should you install Manjaro Lomary over Ubuntu Touch? Let's find out. Manjaro Arm has been doing a very good job recently supporting ARM devices. We have consistently updated Manjaro builds for the OG Pinebook, as well as the Pinebook Pro, and the three editions of the Pinephone, those being Fosh, Plasma Mobile, and Lomary. The one we are going to be looking at in this video is Manjaro Lomary. Lomary is interesting to me because on Ubuntu Touch it is very smooth and responsive, but for some reason, there are not a lot of Pinephone distributions that are shipping Lomary. Speaking of shipping, Manjaro Lomary was actually supposed to be the edition of Manjaro that the Pinephone was going to ship with, for the Manjaro edition. However, because of current world events, one of the key developers got sick, and the Lomary edition of Manjaro wasn't ready for shipping, so they decided to ship Manjaro Fosh instead. As first impressions go, Manjaro Lomary's first impressions are not as good as Ubuntu Touch. There are less options in the setup screen compared to Ubuntu Touch, such as a missing screen to set a lock screen passcode and a missing screen to update the OS, so you have to do those two things, for example, after you install it manually. I also noticed that there were barely any apps pre-installed, even compared to Ubuntu Touch. And to make it worse, it's missing a software center out of the box, which means if you don't know how to use a terminal to install package, you are screwed. So the out-of-the-box experience isn't great. However, Lomary works very well on Manjaro Lomary. Ubuntu Touch still seems to be a little tad bit smoother than Manjaro Lomary, however Manjaro Lomary still is smooth enough for most people who want to use the Pinephone as a daily driver. For those who don't know how Lomary's UI works, you swipe from the left to reveal the dock, and swipe further from the left to reveal the app drawer, and you can also swipe from the right to see your multitasking view, and swipe from the top to see your notification slash control center. Even though this approach is very unique, I actually really like Lomary's UI, and it's my favorite desktop environment right now for Linux phones. Now let's talk about app support. Even though Manjaro Lomary doesn't come with as many apps as Ubuntu Touch does out of the box, I think that app support is about on par with Ubuntu Touch's app support, actually. Bro, Manjaro Lomary doesn't have the open store. Yeah, that is true. Manjaro Lomary doesn't have the open store. However, Manjaro Lomary uses Pac-Man for all the packages, while Ubuntu uses Quick Packages. Now, on most distros, that wouldn't matter that much. You know, Debian and Fedora, Debian uses apt, Fedora uses DNF. You wouldn't really dislike one of those two because it doesn't have the same package manager. However, Quick Packages are actually one of my biggest gripes with Ubuntu Touch, so I'm glad to see that Manjaro uses Pac-Man instead. The reason I don't like Quick Packages is because Ubuntu Touch's image is very restrictive and, and most of the file system is set to read only. So, Ubuntu Touch runs Quick Packages on top of everything in order to run apps on its very restrictive file system. Quick Packages also don't have their own repo, so you can't install them through the command line without going to the official open store website and downloading the Quick Package from the open store website. And also, if you want to install a non-Quick Package, Using something like apt, you have to add write permissions to the file system, which is really wonky, or you have to open up a libertine container, which is not supported on the Pinephone. Which means if you're on the Pinephone and you want to install a non-Ubuntu Touch app, you're kind of out of luck. Luckily, since Manjaro Lomary's file system is much more open than Ubuntu Touch's file system, you can install things through Pac-Man. This means that any app that is in Manjaro's repos will run on Manjaro Lomary. So even though most apps from the open store aren't on the Manjaro Lomary yet, you can install any Fosh or Plasma mobile app on Manjaro Lomary. Now even though Manjaro Lomary doesn't come with a software center out of the box, it is very easy to install either GNOME Software Center or KDE Discover, which automatically solves this issue. Now since you're running apps that were made for Fosh or Plasma on Lomary, the desktop integration isn't as good. Obviously, apps made for Lomary work best on Lomary, and Fosh apps work best on Fosh. So when you take a Fosh app and put it on Lomary, it might run pretty well, but the theming won't be consistent. It's like trying to run an Android app made with Material Design on iOS. However, using Fosh and Plasma mobile apps on Manjaro Lomary is still a good option until the Manjaro team ports more Ubuntu Touch apps to the Manjaro repos. Next, we're going to talk about the browsing experience. But before I do that, I want to plug my Patreon. Thanks to my patrons, I was able to upgrade my Nokia 6.1 Android phone 
over to a OnePlus 7T, which has a much better camera than this phone right here, which means that you're going to see the quality of the B-roll footage improve significantly, except for my webcam. I, yeah, I know my webcam sucks. If you're not subscribed to me on Patreon yet, now is the perfect time to do so, because I have a Patreon-exclusive video about Firefox OS up right now, and it's going to be Patreon-exclusive for 30 days before it goes on YouTube, and I plan on making more early videos for patrons, so go check out my Patreon. Anyways, where were we again? Right, web browsing. Because Manjaro Lomary comes pre-installed with Morph Browser, the browsing experience is almost as good as Ubuntu Touch, but not quite. Websites load quickly compared to other browsers on the Pine phone, and the UI for Morph Browser is very good, although there are a couple gripes I have with it, but for the most part it's okay. However, the performance on Manjaro Lomary of Morph Browser is slightly worse than Ubuntu Touch because Ubuntu Touch's web browser has hardware acceleration, whereas Manjaro does not have this yet. But what evens it out on the playing field is that Manjaro Lomary allows Pac-Man packages, which means that you can run other web browsers such as Firefox, Gnome Web, or even Plasma Mobile's Angelfish. So if you don't like Morph Browser, you can use a different web browser. So should you try out Manjaro Lomary? Definitely. I think if Manjaro Lomary keeps going in the direction it's going, I think it's on track to become one of the best options for the Pine phone. Linux is all about freedom, so even though I love Lomary, the lockdown file system is one of the things I don't like about Ubuntu Touch. So getting a bleeding edge distro that gives me the freedom to mess with my system while also getting the glorious Lomary desktop is a thing that I love. All Manjaro needs to do now is or more Ubuntu Touch apps to Manjaro Lomary and polish it up a little bit more and fix some bugs and make it a little bit smoother. Once these things happen, Manjaro Lomary will be my favorite distro for the Pine Phone. So that's the video, folks. Thanks for watching. Please leave a tip on LBRY if you're on LBRY. And again, check out my Patreon. And thanks to patrons Jonathan Reynolds, Jim Peter, Sam Covet, and Mitchell Vantino for helping make this channel possible. See ya, guys.